What's up guys? It's Mega Machine. I know the hairdo is new. Well, thing is, hold on, I dropped something so I had to pick it up, so he kinda went down with me. That was fun, wasn't it? Thing is, I don't like hair in my face. That's why I always wear a hat or a beanie. Um, you could say, well, why don't you just cut your hair then? Uh, that's that's a good point, and I've thought about that quite a few times, but the thing is, I kind of started growing my hair with like the promise that I would grow it out until I can actually have it in a really nice bun or see how long I can get it. I don't really consider this a really nice one. It's kind of small and puny. Um, the idea was just curiosity and also, you know, sticking to something. I said I was going to do it, so why the fuck not? Um, I like to do what I say I'm going to do. Also, the point was to grow the beard out as much as I can. Beard actually kind of grows a little bit slow. I've been trying to deal with that a little bit. Um, but it, it splits a lot. I don't know if anybody else has that issue. But I get a lot of split ends. It dries out, especially when I'm working and I get a bunch of like sawdust in there and all kinds of stuff. It just gets extremely dry. Um, I do use oils and I do use balm every now and again. Uh, and oil, you know, I use a lot more, but I don't use it as often, especially if I'm working. It's kind of hard to go and reapply or apply or even think about it in the morning, kind of just get out the door. Um, but I do try to take care of it. I do have specific, you know, like beard shampoos and shit like that, that I, I work on it. But splits, I don't know if you had that problem. I've never really met anybody who said they had and everybody's like, what? You get split ends? And I'm like, yeah, I get them fucked up. Like not just split ends, but like they split and then split and then split. And it's just like a huge long hair of a bunch of fucking different hair. Some of them split down the middle. so. It's like a weird, yeah, it's fucked. Um, this time around, I've been trying to pay more attention to it, adding more oil and stuff like that to keep it uh, uh, moist and not so dried out. But for whatever reason, my facial hair likes to get dry. Um, but I'm growing it all out because I said I was going to, so here I am doing it. Uh, I did put color in it. I know, whatever, I'm a fag. Uh, the whole idea was to put gray. My hair is actually going white. Um, already so I just figured what the fuck plus I kind of thought it was cool and I figured if I don't do something with my hair I'm going to cut it because I get pretty irritated with stuff quickly if it's just in my face um, especially my hair and I usually just cut it I personally think I look better with shorter hair that's me um, and I'm just doing this because I said I was going to but enough about my fucking hair Jesus Christ we went on for a little bit on that uh, with me lately, haven't made a video, I apologize for all of that, um, uh, I just been really, really busy and stressed out with this house, it's still going on, I know, it's like, what the fuck, why wanted to end, but the official now closed date is the 31st of this month, which I'm hoping to have it by, well, today is, what, the 16th, 15th, whatever, of, uh, March, I'm hoping to have it by next week, the end or middle of next week. If shit goes, you know, and people do their job, then it should be done. Right now, I'm just waiting on the appraiser to come back, check out what we've now, you know, figured out. Uh, because it's been a battle with the appraiser not wanting, and she wasn't really wanting to do her job. Uh, and we had to just fucking track, the, track her down because I don't know if you've been trying to buy a house at all, especially in Oregon. I don't know how the real estate is other places. But you got all these fucked up regulations, fucked up rules that you gotta go through uh, that just make things hard and long. Ha <laughs> Not, not a pun for any sexual uh, innuendo. But um, just makes it just ridiculous. Adds a lot of extra stress and work. And basically, she didn't want to do her job, so we kind of did it for her. And I've been kind of pushing and getting everybody to do things too because I really want this place. Um, but it is here. It is to the close now. Uh, we did what we had to do, we just got to get her back out there to take the pictures, to get the final official um, appraisal, and then we just close. You know, it's just a matter of uh, time. They say it takes about 10 days to uh, finish signing all the papers, get everything rounded up, because my side's done. Like, I have everything in that I need. All I got to do is wait for the appraiser and then start signing papers, really, uh, and then get the keys and move the fuck in. So I've been really stressed out with that, kind of working with, stressed with work. Haven't had much of a time or much to say. I have been doing the new program I said I was going to do. Um, I like it so far. I actually think it's pretty cool, and it's my own um, that I've been doing. I may elaborate that on that a little bit later in a different video. Um, but today is actually leg day, if you're wondering for me. 
are so squatting legs and it is kind of officially a leg day type of deal. I do a chest, back, shoulder, and leg and of course those cover the main lifts with uh, shoulder press added in as a, a, a extra day which I feel like a lot of other power lifters do but I just kind of like it because I want big shoulders and I feel like my shoulders have been lacking lately so really trying to hammer those and get that strength. Uh, plus, I feel like it's just so perfect. If you're doing a stand-up military press, you're going to get your, your your abs, your core worked, which is what you fucking need if you're going to be doing those three major lifts, especially squat and deadlift. Because um, that's what's going to protect your back, and that's what's going to keep you strong underneath that weight. And that is uh, one of the things I've had issues with in the past. I had back problems. I had all kinds of fucked up stuff. Learned how to brace. I uh, actually fixed my back problems. Learned how to do that. So uh, for me, that worked, and I figured out some really interesting shit as myself being the guinea pig, uh, and I can first-handedly say it worked. Um, and it, most of it was just understanding the body, the human back and the spine, and what, how, how it works, how your body actually repairs itself, lubricates and, uh, and uh, repairs the ligaments in between your, your vertebrae, which a lot of people, or uh, sorry, cartilage in between your vertebrae. A lot of people say, oh, you can't do that once it's damaged, it's damaged. I've even had chiropractors say that to me. That's bullshit. I've seen x-rays proving otherwise, and I've seen results in myself and other people through doing the thing that it... And just understanding how the body works, too. It's just people who say that don't understand their profession very well. They may understand how to align and crack, but they don't... I mean, I feel like if you're doing anything with the body, anything health-related, you need to understand it. You need to take that basic class of understanding. Kind of like if you're going to be doing many other things, they take they have you take a math a math class in order to learn the basics of math that you're going to be using and stuff like that within a lot of other professions. I think it's it's super important that if you're going to do anything health related, you need to understand human anatomy. You need to understand how the body functions. You need to understand diet. You need to understand the immune system. I don't care if all you're doing is like fucking massages or something you know you, you kind of need to understand how the body works because it's all related in my opinion and well I mean honestly not even just in my opinion what, what I've seen has just shown that uh, that everything your body is one huge uh, machine that that works it's a, it's a circuit it's a big huge circle you know kind of that everything is related by on, on so much you know is affected by so much in the body uh, that's just it's awesome body's fucking nuts uh, but yeah, really enjoy that, uh, what I'm doing. And I'll get more into that. I'll show you some exercise videos. I have them back at the actual gym. Haven't been doing as much in my uh, home gym. Only reason is I just kind of want a little bit more uh, variety. And also, once you go out to the gym, you're kind of like, well, I'm here. Let's get it done. And you do longer workouts, I feel like. Because it is easy to get lazy at your home gym. The nice thing about the home gym is lazy or not, you're still getting the work in. And that's the most important thing is because if you don't have that and you're lazy that day and you have no home gym, then you're just not even going to lift at all. Uh, plus, you can get some fucking gnarly ass workouts at home if you got the, you know, the, the pump and shit like that. Or I mean, uh, pumped up or, or psyched up is kind of what I mean. Um, but yeah, no, just definitely trying to take a, a different turn. Plus, there's a lot more equipment at the gym, obviously, than my gym. Uh, so, than my home gym, you know, so I'm able to add extra... Um, exercises, extra workouts, and they have bumper plates, which is one thing I do really want to get for my home gym, uh, but they're fairly expensive, so I'm able to do a lot like deadlifts without damaging things, a lot easier, because it's kind of hard when you got the steel weights in a concrete ground to be uh, doing deadlifts. Uh, you learn to control the weight, but it's harder to go heavy and all out when all you want to do is get the weight up and not so much worry about in the descent if you're trying to do uh, like a single or just going heavy. Um, or, you know, and not have to worry about it. You don't have to think about it. Even if you have control, you don't have to worry about like, oh shit, did I set it down too hard and crack the floor? Um, so it's just sort of frustrating that way, but that's due time when I get those and I'll be able to do more stuff at home. Uh, but they also have other accessory exercise equipment, you know, like pulley machines, way more dumbbells than I got, uh, different bars than I have, um, all kinds of stuff. And again, I am going through more of that stuff that uh, variety of exercises so it's like a bodybuilding slash powerlifting um, collaboration in my workout but anyway I'm getting on nine and a half minutes here it looks like on my clock so I'm going to sign out but that is what is new with me um, go ahead talk all the shit about my hair you want don't give a fuck I'm gonna keep growing it out for a little while I think uh, I might end up moving to North Dakota and doing a little bit of oil work which means ooh, sadly all of this has to go along with my hair most likely um, 
I don't have to like shave my head, but I do have to cut it probably short. I'm gonna want to. I don't like getting all that. Well, I've last time I did it, you know, you get pretty messy. Um, but the beard's usually gotta go because you gotta have a mask to, uh, you know, a good seal. Get a good seal with a mask when you when you might be on a site with uh, H2S or something like that. Uh, especially H2S is when you will mask up and if you can't get a good seal most of the time it's like a safety OSHA fucking bullshit that they make you do because you can't actually get a decent seal with a little bit of a beard not this one definitely you can't get a seal but uh they kind of keep you clean shaven so I'm gonna be baby faced a little bit there anyway I ranted on a little bit further apologize but that is it for me guys uh stay strong stay healthy most importantly guys stay happy because that's about life's about, brah. That's what life's about. Go find your happiness. Peace out.